Hello, my name is Dan Rosen, and to all of you, I want to say thank you for coming tonight and showing your support for Israel. I'm deeply moved by the turnout tonight. It's an honor to be able to address you on behalf of Partnership 2000, or P2K, and Columbus's very special relationship with Kfar Saba Israel. Globally, Partnership 2000 seeks to link cities in the diaspora with Israel. Locally, our Columbus Kfar Saba connection is consistently recognized as one of the leading partnerships in the world. Over the past six years, more than 5,000 people in both cities have been directly impacted. We have participated in programs as varied as teen exchanges, dental missions, funding Ethiopian youth and cultural centers, helping to provide hot meals and mentoring for disadvantaged youth. But what makes our partnership special, one of the shining examples in the systems, is not just these amazing programs. It is the connection, the bond we have forged on a deep and personal level with the people of our two cities. Through partnership, we have opened our hearts to each other and found new family. Just as family is there for each other during good times, we have also been there and will continue to be there for each other during the darkest hours. This is one of those times where we need to be there for all of our family in support of Kfar Saba and Israel with unconditional love and support. 1.5 million American Israelis are in danger from increased Hamas rocket fire. 20% of Israel's 8 million citizens live in constant fear of being targeted by Hamas rockets. The Israeli government developed a network of civilian support for these victims of terror. This support pairs cities that are in harm's way with those that are out of range. Our partners in Kfar Saba have been asked and willingly adopted one such city, Gan Yavne, a town of about 15,000 people south of Ashdod. Every day, every day of the week, since the bombing began, over 100 children, young adults and elderly, are bused from Gan Yavne to Kfar Saba to temporarily escape from the constant horrors of the missile strikes. And when I say bust, I'm not speaking about a four-hour bus ride to some remote part of the country. Israel is so small and Kfar Saba is so close to the impact zone that the entire trip from Gan Yavne to Kfar Saba takes only about 45 minutes, and that includes dealing with Tel Aviv traffic. The impact zone day-to-day -day life has been horribly altered. Schools, movie theaters, care for the elderly, most shops, and just about all public gathering places are closed. Life is ruled by the sounds of sirens and the never-ending fear caused by the red alert. Once the children arrive in Far Saba, the immense task of providing food, entertainment, remote schooling, counseling, and other service, social services to over a thousand new faces a week falls into the hands of our partners. Far Saba has mobilized with lightning speed. The city, the city swimming pools have been opened, entertainment arranged, free tickets to the cinema, impromptu classrooms, and daycare are provided every day. In Kfar Saba, the kids from Ganyavne are given a chance to breathe easy again, to just be kids again. Our Columbus dollars raised as part of the annual campaign and allocated to Israel funds provide critical support for programs that are being pressed well beyond their limits in helping these families that are seeking respite in Kfar Saba. The programs that include the Neta teens that are, that are providing computer help and those that need to reach computers that have been shut down, Aharai participants in Kfar Saba who were once themselves risk, youth at risk are leading sports games for young children. And the Kfar Saba Home for the Aged shares what it has with the elderly from Ganyavne. We have one local connection already on the ground in Kfar Saba helping out. Hillel Meyer, a teacher from Columbus Tour Academy, is standing in for a teacher who has been called up for active duty while Hillel is in Israel. If you or someone you know would like to get in touch with an old acquaintance from Kfar Saba, please reach out to them. Your well wishes are the best medicine. If you're not quite sure to start, please contact Avi Kagan, the community shaliach, or myself and we'll be happy to help. 
Your Columbus partnership will be involved in many ways in helping Farsaba and Israel. Please visit the Federation's website for daily updates, www.jewishcolumbus.org, about our efforts in Farsaba and more specifics for how you can get involved in these efforts. Finally, many of you wish to say Tehillim Psalms for the IDF soldiers fighting in Gaza. Very shortly, we hope to have a list of names from Farsaba to, so you can include those names in your prayers. Once again, on behalf of Partnership, thank you for your support of Israel, and rest assured, P2K is doing everything it can to help the citizens of Israel. Thank you.